Hello boys and girls, welcome back to the channel. Benvenuti a tutti. My name is Timmy and in this episode I finally am producing this super advanced best ever seen class guide um, videos. And as you can as you know in uh, top four we actually have uh, two classes. We have uh, the mechanical master and combat elite. I simply cannot speak of both classes in the same video simply because I want to explain it very, very clear and we have to go deep with it, deep in these um, uh, researches so I can explain what's the class all about. So that being said, I would love to start with the complexer class. And this complexer class, the advanced class in this game is actually the mechanical master. So from my simple point of view, the mechanical max master class is actually the advanced class in this game, not the combat elite, yeah? That's something else, you're gonna see it in the combat elite video. Uh, simply because the mechanical master is such a complex uh, um, class, you have a lot of tasks. Now, this is correct, this class is free to play. Why is that? Simply because the, the, the research gives you so many abilities and without these abilities, yeah, your server cannot perform, cannot play at a higher level. So let's do this video a bit more differently. So I will specifically not put on the screen right now how many tasks actually a mechanical master has to fulfill. Simply because you have to watch this and you have to watch it till the end. I will make no chapters, yeah? You click on this video to learn, you don't click on these videos to give me views, yeah? So from this point of view, let's start with the obvious, yeah? So the first task of, a, uh, of the mechanical mask is of course, doing these facilities on the ground. Now, this game, the developers claim it's a war game. Theoretically, it's not quite that. It's only uh, maybe every two weeks or maybe once a week. The rest of the time is the time in which your Alliance member will gonna wait for you to come online to make this, yeah? They will wait for you, yeah? So this will gonna allow them to farm far more resources uh, per hour uh, just because you do these facilities. Now, when we look at the facilities, um, it's uh, very safe to say that basically this is absolutely crap, yeah? So the people already asked the developers, please brainstorm this. Yeah, brainstorm this because it's useless, useless, useless. So from this point of view, we have also the training officer. Now you're gonna be surprised because the training officers actually stops right here for the combat elite. But I did told you this is an advanced class. That means you have far more options. Now you have to pay attention and let's talk about, we're gonna talk about those one, I'm gonna explain you, but let's go back into the uh, main tree. So yes, we said, um, it's very wise idea, wise, especially when you start uh, playing the game at low levels, to be a mechanical master, simply because you're gonna need a lot, a lot of resources. Now you're also gonna need uh, this um, specific um, class items, but those, will not necessarily be actually the issue because you, you're you gonna have issue like you see me right here. Uh, this is okay, my farming accounts or something I use to do the videos. So you're gonna farm way more resources way faster. So we're gonna talk about this later in the video, how you switch and so on, but let's focus um, on the research itself of the mechanical master. So yeah, we reached the second task of a mechanical master, which are the weakness towers, yeah? This is the reason why you see me in the videos or you see your friends in the videos staying in a place and not being attacked because you are there, because your friends, mechanical mass are there. This is the reason, not because they are strong, because of your towers. So this is the PVP part, but also PVE part. So you're gonna be kindly ask, oh, can you please, please put me a strengthening uh, tower on the ground so I can hit the world boss harder so I can hit the sun table harder. They need you because you are the advanced class right here. Let's carry on, yeah, let's carry on because this is not the end. Uh, we carry on with the fact when you join a rally, you're actually buffing your, uh, your uh, members in that rally, which is a very, very strong buff and it's very, very needed. Now, this is about the rallies, but we wanna talk about the towers also. Um, why? Because if we look at these towers, especially the weakness, especially the weakness in PvP, guys, yeah? 
Um, your tower is not only protecting me or protecting your alliance members. These towers are part of your defense, are part of your offense. Yeah, the more towers you have on the ground, the more your opponent is busy taking them down. When you see me playing, when you see professional players playing, when they say we have to take the opponent's defense down, they mean exactly this, the weakness towers. So they are busy with your towers. So what you do, it's extremely crucial, you and your fellow mechanical masters, put as many towers down as possible, keep them on the ground. So that is very, very important. This remains an advanced class, therefore we have to carry on because we are not done yet, yeah? So you saw me, okay, I'm gonna put the facility down and everybody's gonna be happy to farm a lot of resources, correct there. I'm gonna put towers down to protect my combat elites and help them actually to win, help them support and uh, reinforce a building while their defense at home at the base is very stable because of my towers, yeah? Okay, then you see me saying, you know what, as mechanical master, I'm also helping the rally by being in there and buffing it, yeah? So that's, that's a good one, yeah? Do you, do you think we are done? Uh, no, we don't, because the mechanical master job is not finished here. So what else must a mechanical master do? They must craft these oils, and especially we're gonna go into there, and there's a certain building right here, which is the... Craft center, and we click on the oils. Now you're gonna see certain potions here. You can actually craft as mechanical master. We have to research them first, of course. So you're gonna have 10% on army. You're gonna have um, for the weakness. Now this is a very important one, uh, but let's talk about it in the end. Let's, let me show you first the simple stuff. So you have the navy, the the army. You have the planes. So this stack, yeah. But the most important are actually um, the mucus, yeah. This is such a annoying stuff, yeah? So if you cast that on me as an attacker, if you cast it on me as an opponent, um, all my match is gonna be two minutes, for two minutes long. So I have to spend a lot of speed ups in order to attack something. This is very annoying and uh, very, very, very useful. Now, another one is the super magnetic, yeah? You can disable a, a target, so you, you can lock them on the ground. There's like some rocks falling from the sky, so you, you lock them on the ground so they cannot jump away, so you can catch them and nuke them down, yeah? So another one is, of course, the electro missile, yeah? Which actually disabling the, the, the facilities, uh, which is a very, very important thing. Now, if you are a dedicated player and a good mechanical master, you're gonna have this ready ready and um, you're gonna tell whomever is in charge of organizing the event telling I have so many of these so many of that please let me know when you guys think we need it and on which target we need it so this is very important so after you saw all this you're gonna think the class is absolutely perfect sadly it's not we're still lacking stuff we're still lacking stuff simply because we and I mean by you me and the rest of you guys which are players the community we allow the developers to be that lazy and after three years not having specific ranks for this class. Why? Because the combat elite per Z, yeah, you're boosting him, you're helping. With, without you, he's gonna struggle a lot, yeah? So what do you get in return? You get in return to compete with him in PvP events when it's all about the kills and you barely can get some as Mechanical Master and when we're talking about PvE, we're talking about the world boss, we're talking about the, the druid, you're also gonna hit way less simply because your tree is not including that. So there's a half of a good news here. After three years, these um, developers finally realized they have, to do, they have to do something about it. They start working on it. God knows when that is ready. But the idea per se, it's brilliant because they wanna make different ranks for the mechanical master. This is not rocket science. They have to have a tool which detects, yes, you are mechanical master, therefore, when you attack the world boss, when you attack the druid, you're gonna be in a different list. And these two lists will be parallel to each other for the combat elite and for the mechanical master. So we answer actually the question for the people which say, okay, you know what? Um, 
I want to be at the beginning a mechanic master because I can farm a lot more resources. I can be much more faster. Yeah, that's correct. That's that's a that's a good uh, a good choice as mechanic master. You say, okay, I'm gonna be free to play or extremely low budget. Yeah. Therefore, this class is something for me. But there are a few of you guys which are gonna say, you know what? I want to switch later. Yeah. Uh, for those of you, now it's important to talk about how you do that. Now, when you switch a class, um, when you switch a class, um, you actually have this token right here. Now, what is important to know before you do that? Important is you have to look into your inventory, first of all, and see how many of these class items you still have left. In this case, for my farm, it's 260. That's why it always is better to have, is, have them saved in a box and not open. Open only when you need. So what will happen if I will um, reset the class right now? I'm going to get those items which you saw on the screen, but this here will remain like this, mechanical gear, which is a bad, bad situation. They used to have events in which you can actually trade into the combat elite and vice versa. They don't have it anymore. So therefore you have to pay attention. So how do you do it? You go into your training and always make sure you never press this OK button here. You never press it if you have some more research rolling. Because if the research is active, the items you actually spend to start this uh, specific research will not be given back to you. So that's very important. And the second important thing, make sure you, you have used all your um, gear. Yeah, make sure. Because you're going to get it if you switch it towards the combat elite, you're going to get the specific combat elite uh, uh, items. So let's presume somehow you kind of, I don't know, you lost it or you already use it or whatever. So for the sake of mentioning, if you do not have this free item anymore in your inventory, it's going to cost you 10,000 gems. So be careful when you choose that. So now let's talk about specifically when should I jump uh, in the combat elite? And we're also going to explain in the combat elite um, uh, video when is wise to actually be a combat elite. We're going to talk about that. So bear, uh, have some patience. So you're starting as a mechanical master, you get your perfect three hero march, which is a very, very high uh, performance jump, and you will carry on. Yeah, you, you do your researches because um, the good part about it is some of the research, you can let it roll without using speed ups. But when you reset, you're actually getting speed ups for this time back. So which is pretty, pretty nice. So you're going to go with, the, with, the, with this skill also. And where you're going to stop, and I would specifically want to stop is here. So these are the same for the combat elite or mechanic and master, but and these two. So when you reach this one, at this point, yeah, you can decide, okay, should I jump as a combat elite uh, to combat elite or should I stay mechanical master? Now, for those of you which reach this last row right here and say, okay, you know what? I don't want to uh, switch to combat uh, elite. I simply want to remain mechanical master because it's really an advanced class. Comparing to a uh, combat elite, it is an advanced class. You need a brain for it and you need to learn. You don't do that, go spend money. Yeah, and be combat elite. That's exactly what it is. So if you say, you know what, I want to remain mechanical master. Yeah, then you enter in these five um, things they actually brought us with the last patch, with, with the class rewards or whatever. So um, I have a beautiful video when it comes down to the power course and how to approach this. Uh, there are a few events when you can get a few of them and you can get two for free every day. Stick with that and watch that video because it's more advanced to that. But let's talk simply about uh, this stuff. So this has to be at level three. The maximum morale level is actually for you guys level five. Yeah, this is absolute the golden goose. Yeah, if you have this, they're going to love you. They're going to make a king. Yeah, this is an absolute brilliant facility. It's very, very useful on top of all the tools you actually have. When it comes to this drone, this is a drone actually which appears in your formation. And actually when you hit, it hits uh, one extra hit. Now you can imagine that probably due to focusing as Mechanical Master, your stats and, 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 and your account strength will not be comparable to a combat elite, which means you can ignore this. Yeah. And um, this is a good one. We have the combat elite also have this one, which actually it's an extra damage reduction, which is a good thing. So I suggest to balance between uh, between those these two, ignore the drone for the uh, for the moment. And of course, the last one, God knows when you're going to reach it, but it is will not allow you to walk on the water. Yeah, it's simply the, dro the, the drone was going to hit one more time. So this is nothing 
absolutely relevant with the class. This is absolutely re relevant. So that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, subscribe to the channel and support the channel. And I will see you in the next episode when we talk about those guys which actually decided to spend more money and they don't need that much knowledge in order to play the combat elite. So I wish you a great day, guys.